hidden features of MIUI 12. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to cover multiple hidden features of MIUI 12. In case you want to see the major features of MIUI 12, I have a separate video for that, which is linked in the description of this video. And it is also mentioned in the pinned comment. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 12 beta. First feature you will find is in SIM card and mobile networks so here it is you now have a new ui for setting your default sim for calls and similarly you can set a default sim for data next up if you go into bluetooth we have additional settings and here you can enable the toggle to pair compatible devices which is going to connect to nearby devices using a simplified pairing process and you also have a toggle to show devices without mac addresses next we can go into display and here if you go into brightness level you have a new toggle for sunlight mode it is going to adjust the brightness to strong ambient light when automatic brightness is off so for this feature to be enabled you need to turn off automatic brightness and then you can enable the toggle for sunlight mode while we are still in display if you go into text size and font weight the option of font weight is new so here it is you can see that as you move this slider the weight of the font changes next up if you go into display and status bar tap on the battery indicator you of course have a new ui but in addition to that you also have the option of a battery bar on the top once you enable it it is going to show the battery bar on the top of your display there it is you can see it and the normal battery indicator disappeared we do not have the capability of changing the color of this battery bar but yes you do have a new battery bar baked into miui 12. next if you go into notifications and then if you go into notification shade you have a new option called group notifications once you enable this miui is going to group the push and promotional notifications automatically making your notifications shade less crowded you can read more about this feature by pausing this video next if you go into wallpapers and then if you scroll down tap on more online wallpapers to open the online themes application go into my account go into theme labs you have an option of transparent wallpaper what is this transparent wallpaper well once you enable it you'll get the option of downloading a transparent wallpaper and bam as you just saw my settings background just changed to this pretty cool wallpaper which i had downloaded you can choose what all applications you want the transparent wallpaper to work for from that specific option and you can also configure the opacity level so this i think is a pretty cool feature and right now it is present in themes lab but i am pretty sure they're going to move it as a major feature of miui 12 pretty soon now what in case you want to change your transparent wallpaper well you just have to go to the theme store and we search for some other wallpaper so let's go and say discover wallpapers let's choose this one click on apply and bam because my option of transparent wallpaper was enabled i do have the option of setting it as transparent wallpaper there it is i have set it as the transparent wallpaper the ui rebooted and now if i go back into the themes application and then go into my account and themes lab transparent wallpaper bam there it is we now have the bird flying over the lighthouse as my transparent wallpaper next up we can go into settings and then we'll go into battery and performance yes ultra battery saver in the building xiaomi did say they're going to release this feature with miui 11 but you know it never happened so now they are adding it as a feature with miui 12 you can also see that we do have the new ui over here and another feature is automated tasks so from here let's say you want to turn on airplane mode from 7 am to 7 pm you can do that let's say you want to turn on silent mode when the battery reaches 20 percent you can do that as well if you do not like any of these options click on the plus sign and you can add your own condition your own action and enter a 
task name. This I think is pretty similar to what Google implemented as rules in Android 10, though Xiaomi's implementation might be more detailed. Oh, and before I forget, if you go back into battery and performance, and then if you click on battery usage stats, you will see that the UI has also changed. So you have a power consumption graph, which you can view in two different options. So this is one of the option, and this is the second option which you get. Next up, we can head over to special features. So settings, special features, you do have tapless. So what is this tapless? Well, all you need to do is enable the feature and then you can press and hold an item to learn more and these are the categories which you can enable it or disable it for it works in chrome browser and it works in other applications as well but it does require access to the internet and while we are still in special features we do have floating window which we talked about in the other video then you have something called kids space wherein you can hand over the device to your kid and they will have some kid content playing on the screen other than that you also have light mode wherein everything will be bigger and easier to use for people who have visibility issues there it is this is how light mode looks like everything is bigger you can tap to dial so just click on the add button and i guess then you can add a contact which will be showing up on this screen and makes it faster to dial that number in fact the whole ui text size is also increased so as you can see the font has become larger and easier to read on the eyes next up you can now add a header image to your application vault so there it is you can see that i do have a custom header image on my vault how do you do that well you need to scroll down all the way go into settings and tap on the settings icon on the top right and once you do that you have the option of cover image and this is from where you can change the cover image which you see on the application vault next up we can go into security and if you go into utilities you have features like earthquake warning we already talked about kid space you do have deep clean photos application data record calls and a bunch of other features which they have added over here then the file manager application has become more enhanced this is how it looks like you do have tabs on the top which you can select to change the different files which are shown but if you click on storage you now have a full-fledged file manager and you can say click on backups see the contents of that go back go into any other folder you want and here it is press and hold you can now move the files so you do have a new better looking ui and of course you have this floating button tap on it you can sort it in different ways change the view as well so next up if you open the gallery application you again have tabs on the top but you have a new tab called memories so you have collage and clip which you could previously find by clicking on the three dot menu on the top right they have moved that under memories you also have a video editor in case you want to edit any videos directly on your device and another feature is if you go into gallery albums let's say we open this video tap on it the video options now have the text beneath them previously you could only see the icons you now have the text as well and if you click on more you also have the option of compressing a video in case you want to share a video in low resolution which you shot on your xiaomi device next up if you open the clock applications again a different ui previously on top you had only the icons now you have the text instead of the icons on top so you have alarm clock stopwatch timer all these options were previously also there but it used to show an icon on the top next up if we go into settings go into my device tap on storage you do have this super cool looking animation however if you say tap on apks it is going to open the file manager and show you all the apks which are present on your device you do have a segregation so installed and not installed in case you want to delete any apks similarly for images tap on the images option and bam it is going to show you all the images next up we have major changes in the camera application so open the camera application you do have a new ui something which i think is inspired by gcam because if you click on more you have all these different options however if you go into the video mode and see the icon in the middle yes you do have beauty mode in video now for those beautiful videos and if you tap on the settings icon you can now 
choose your FPS or frames per second without having to tap on an icon multiple times. All the available options are shown in the bar on the top. Also, if you go into the camera settings, you do have the option of changing the UI using the customize option. This is covered in detail in my other video. However, you do have this another new option which says press and hold shutter button. What do you want to do when you do that? Do you want to record a video? Do you want to perform burst shooting of pictures? Or do you want to focus? And you also have this quick snap mode wherein pressing and holding the volume down button when the screen is off takes a photo. Pretty cool for those spy shots which you want to take. So there it is peeps. Those are the hidden features of MIUI 12 which Xiaomi has implemented and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.